Okay, everybody. So we finally got the rotor. And excuse me for just diving right in because it's been raining the last four days, I believe. So I'm just trying to get as much done as possible because when I looked outside, I seen that it was not raining no more and everything was drying up. So I quickly just got dressed and done this. Got a video ready. So, yep, <laughs> let's get started because I'm trying to see if this will cause any kind of any kind of assistance with the vibration that it has. Hopefully it stops a little bit, even just a tiny bit. the rotor we're gonna be taking that one off first actually so let's remove this one first and then we're gonna be putting this one on there but first we're gonna have to sand down the brake pads first because they got some rust and yeah told you guys it's been raining the last four days and the car has just been sitting so sad real sad so I've been anxious to get back on the grind and I'm happy that I'm back on the grind that's for sure, so hopefully this works, helps the vibration go away. Brand new stinking fucking rotor, man. That shit looks nice. This right here, this right here, this is better than sex. Sometimes, only sometimes. When did you get those parts that satisfy you so much? Damn, so now we gotta get some brain cleaner, which I did by yesterday, I believe. I'm thinking, I'm not too sure, but I know I bought it within the last 36 hours. It looks so beautiful, like, if you see, like, like the text, like the texture on the lip. I'm not sure if you guys, okay, look at my hand. Okay, whenever I put it over the rotor, can you guys see those designs? The texture right there is crazy. But that's crazy though. It feels so good though, brand stinking new. It's hella oily. That's why we gotta get that degreaser. Shit, look at my fingers. Sheesh. sand down the brake pads so we can make sure we have a flat clean surface all right that's good enough right there remember to do this to both and part of me knows that this is not gonna fix it completely even though when I do press on the brake it does shake and I vibrate so that is clearly associated with the suspension which is the rotor and it's part of the suspension too. It's the whole unit together. But it's just a part of me that thinks otherwise. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it does something to it. Even if it's just like a 5% difference, I'll still take it. We got the 
brand new rotor installed. We got all the bolts tightened. We got the caliber on, we got the bracket, we got the clip, we got the brake pads sanded. Those are on. We got the sensor back on. Hoses look great. Everything's tightened. We're not forgetting nothing at all. We're not putting the spacer back on for a while. So the front's gonna be spacerless. The rear does have spacers though. So now let's put the wheel back. There's something else that I'm going to try and I bought this whole unit, alright? It came in two pallets and it was pretty big, I ain't gonna lie. And I expect to be this big. But, uh, okay, so the part that we essentially needed and it was this part, the rack and pinion. So, I was thinking to myself, okay, if I buy that by itself, it's going to cost me roughly around like 500 bucks. I bought the sub frame for the car like weeks ago, probably months. That one cost me roughly around like 450, 455 for just a sub frame. None of these components included, none of them. All right, and I got everything right here. I got rotors, knuckles, arms, rock and pinion, sub frame, hoses. Also, uh, this bracket that I in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't find this one to save my life, and I finally got it. All came with this for 540 something. I fucked up by getting the suffering. But the new owner is gonna get it anyways. Fuck it. Maybe. But initially what we needed for the car is the knuckle and the rack and pinion, right? So we're gonna be replacing the knuckle on the car and also the rack and pinion. But it's gonna be one by one to see what was the issue. Hopefully. If I do just swap the knuckle and then that saves the issue, like, well that fixes the issue, then thank God, right? Then I won't need none of this. Yeah, I took a hit, cost quite a bit, but still, fuck it. I saved because the knuckle itself, I believe, will cost roughly around like a hundred. Rack and pinion, four something. So frame, four something. And then you got the arms, you got the hoses, you got the lines, you got the brackets, you got the also uh, the engine, the engine mounts. All that for a fraction of the price so hopefully the knuckle works if it doesn't hopefully the rack and pinion will work and if it doesn't oh my god I'm gonna be honest with you guys and girls if that I'm gonna be honest with you hold on I need some light I'm gonna be honest with you so if the rag opinion or the knuckle does not work, then I'm, I'm lost for words. I will not be able, well, I'm not gonna give up a course, but it's gonna be slightly here to, cause moving forward, I'm gonna keep reminding myself, damn, I did this, spend that much fuck, oh my God. But it is what it is, all right? Especially when you're doing it yourself, it's much harder. Sometimes, not all the time. <laughs>